I've only dated white girls. I'm sorry. I'm being honest. Am I allowed to just say that? Previously. Hello there. Becoming independent for me was an act of rebellion. I'll be right back. Okay, cool. Simon sits alone at the bar. Frail transcription accompanies the title, Blind Love, Upper Marlboro, Maryland. Mario sings and plays keyboard at his church. He wipes his tears. In the pews, people clap and wave. I was feeling that song. I mean, it got to me. So it's a regular church service, you know, regular Sunday. All right, bye. All right, bye. Emmanuel usually walks me out at the end of every service. Right, How's it going? Right. Good, good, good. Congratulations, good. sweetie. Thank you, God, God bless, bless you. you. <laughs> Jinx. And then the choir director comes up and says, I want to say goodbye to you, boo-boo. Suddenly, without preamble, without warning, without saying, Mario, brace yourself, here comes a million dollar moment. Kim is going to say goodbye to you, too. So stay right here. Okay. There's someone here. Um, <laughs> how you doing? I'm doing well. Goodbye, Mario. Did you enjoy the service? I sure did, as okay. always. Kim hugs Mario. That was, oh my god. I feel like a schoolboy. Remember at choir rehearsals, there was a girl there who was always laughing at stuff I said, and I had heard rumors of her being really interested. I hugged her. What? My sister V set me up for a hug real quick. With his and sister then, Nora. She's super skinny. Give she, her his phone she, number. That's a fantastic idea. And then tell her that he's too scared to give it to her. You know, don't don't tell her that either. I'll dis <laughs> I'll disown you. New York, New York. At a swimming pool, Simon completes a lap as his friends Charles and Francesco cheer. Simon high fives his friend Andrew with his friend Francesco. I don't know, what'd you think? Uh, just gotta get used to whether they're interested or not. Oh yeah, it's yeah. just practice. I mean, the music was loud, like usually for us, for, for right. blind people, loud music is. But it was, but like, I don't know, would speed dating be like a cool thing to do? Or just like... Honestly, dude, like you should try whatever you want to and see what works best. Yeah, In the church right. parking lot, yeah. Emmanuel joins Mario and Nora. Here he goes, he's coming back. Thank Wait, you. what happened? She smiled when I told her that you wanted me to give her the number. She's in great shape. How do you know? <laughs> I hugged her. <laughs> oh, right. And we get all that information. Okay. I told her. The ball was now in her court. There you go. That's Nora what and Emmanuel, you high five. It's not in her That's court. You guys don't put stuff in females' <laughs> courts. Tell her I need her to text me because I want to set up a date. OK. No, no, tell her I want to set up conversation over coffee. No, just tell her to text him. Text me so I can have her number because I'm interested in setting up conversation over a meal. That's just There we go. Much. That's how I talk. Do not tell her all of that, OK? It's OK, Mario. I got you. Tell got her you. he wants conversation over a meal. You can tell her that when she texts you. I got you, though, Mario. I'm going to let her know to text you. We'll have a, a conversation over, over a meal. Dinner. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I appreciate you for doing this, man. Seriously. Mario whispers to Emmanuel. Good conversation over meal. <laughs> At home, Simon takes a call from Macy's My Stylist. Hello? Can you call from Macy's My Stylist? How are you today? Uh, good. How are you? I'm fine. Um, do you have a little bit of time to talk? Thank you for calling. Sure. I'm going to a speed dating event on Wednesday. Okay. I'm basically looking for something that represents me. Awesome. I'm an athlete. I do triathlons. I'm training for one right now. Okay. I listen to mostly heavy metal. What are your sizes in shirts? I mean, normally I usually go shopping with my parents. So for like shirt, I'm a small. Okay. Waist size, I'm like a 32. 32. Would you have different materials I could feel? Because I am i can't tell you exactly what type of materials I like. Of course, of course. I'll have a lot of different things pulled out for you based off of what our conversation was. And Mario and his sister Nora eat lunch together. I still don't realize what she looked like. I can tell you if she's pretty or not. She's on Facebook. Let me see your phone. Uh, hold on. Let me pull her up. Let me look at the mutual friends and I'll tell me. Old enough to know bad friend. Old enough to know better. Young enough to not even... No, this ain't her. This person said they're old enough to know better, but young enough not to give a <laughs> That kid. <laughs> well, that better not be her. We just came from church. <laughs> oh, no, it's her. That's her? Sister Vanessa is a friend, and so is Satoria from the church. It's oh, her. My oh, my god. Nora takes the phone from Mario. <laughs> That's her status. Using my sister to Facebook stalk someone is, is a typical occurrence. I remember, OK, I saw her. She has braids in her hair. So she's dark skin, but my complexion. She pretty? Yeah, she's pretty and skinny. Oh, all right. She's 35. I don't know about the young enough not to give a part. She a cougar. 
You want a cougar? She a cougar. If she's messing with a 20-year-old, I'm 30. <laughs> she scrolls through the phone. At Macy's, Simon looks at outfits with a stylist, Cherise. So the first item that I pick is like a quilted bomber jacket. It's a really cool blue. It's navy blue. And then there's a shirt underneath it right here, which is a white polo similar to what you have. Just feels right here. You see? Yeah, it feels similar to what I'm wearing now, yeah. And it has blue and gray stripes. Next, we have like a two-tone denim jacket. Jean jacket type. Yeah, okay. I say denim, we say jeans. Yeah. We're going to say both today. Okay. Um, so this is a two-tone. Oh, interesting. Never felt this before. Mm -hmm. I felt jean jackets, but they're like a lot softer. As a blind person, I determine the clothes I wear by how they feel. Some jeans are softer than others. So this is the raw denim to give you that raw kind of feeling combined with a softer denim. It's not as raw. I'm voting for this one. Ozell, like a stylist. It. That's gonna work for school, for dates, for work, for heavy metal concerts, the whole run of it. This is a pair of guest jeans, and they have rips in them. Ripped They're... jeans. <laughs> His face. His friend, Jill. He's like, oh, ripped <laughs> jeans, cool. People would tell me, like, wear something trendy, wear something hipster, and I have no idea what any of that stuff means. The looks are sexier. The denim is more fitted. Like tighter, you mean? Fitted, not tight. It's just a more tailored look for you. My mom buys my clothes for me, but it's not like they pick out sexy clothes or anything like that, so. Simon, our job is to make sure you catch the eye of many people. Okay. So we're gonna accentuate certain parts of your body that mom's not going to, okay? Smiling, uh, Mario listens to a text. Kim just Text it. 2, 46 p.m. Hey, Mario, it's Kim from church. I'm headed into work right now, but I think that we should definitely get together. I think that would be excellent, period. Smiley face. I will give you a call this week to plan something, period. Enjoy work. I feel so nervous like, a, like I'm a high school boy or something. I haven't felt it in a long time, so this is, this is good. This is a good sign. At Macy's, Simon models the denim outfit. So, we had a little hiccup with sizes. You are definitely smaller, but it's okay. How many sizes smaller? Like two. <laughs> so, so this is what we're talking about. Mom, right? She shops for you, but she's not shopping for you for a date. Turn around, because we want the ladies to see what's going on. I learned that the right fit and the way clothes sit on you shows off how your body actually looks. Like, that's just kind of fascinating to me. You look really great. Thanks. But we want to show the broadness in your chest. We want to show the definition in your arms. We want to show your tush, you know? I'm pretty active, so if I have the body to show it off, then why not? Next, he wears a collared shirt okay. with short sleeves and slim jeans, his glasses removed. Yeah, I like this. It's very, like, put together. It's the first time I noticed, like, the button down's actually, like, touching my chest and, like, my waist. That's because it actually fits you. So mom's got her set of sizes, and then you know what your real sizes are. <laughs> Simon puts on a denim jacket. What I got out of today was if you want to attract girls, do not wear clothes that your mom bought for you. Next time, oh Mario God. rides on a Ferris wheel with his date. I'm losing it. Oh, God. I'm not sure where James and I are going at this point. Hi, Joni. Hi, how's it going? A new date, fade to black.